Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new skill capped video. Today I'm going to show you all 10 crazy tips to help you win your games on Haven. But before we get into that, are you struggling to win gunfights? Well, don't worry, we got you covered. At skillcapped.com you'll finally learn how to level up your aim, different techniques to win gunfights, and so much more. We have professional courses on every single agent, map, and mechanic in Valorant. And this is backed by the top pros, players, and coaches to make sure you're getting the most up-to-date and accurate info possible. In fact, we are so confident that you'll improve using our system that we offer a rank improvement guarantee. Check it out yourself in the link below. Simply put in what rank you're currently stuck at and find out what rank you are guaranteed by using our system. So, what are you waiting for? Unlock your true potential and get the rank you've always wanted at skillcapped.com. Link in the description below. All right, without any further ado, let's hop into tip number one. We're going to be talking about a pretty useful wallbang strategy that is very uncommon to see while playing Valorant. This wallbang is going to shoot into sewers from the B bomb site. In order to pull this off, you need to go to this box on the B bomb site and now aim in this area and spray. With a little bit of luck, you will be able to hit some headshots on the enemies and maybe even pick up a free kill. Also, an even more powerful way to use this strategy is with a Sova arrow and an Odin. Using an Odin will give you that extra wall penetration to easily deal damage to the enemies, and then you pair that with the Sova arrow, it makes it easy kills on the enemies. And if you decide to utilize this wall bang, remember you still need to be cautious of mid because enemies still could push towards you from there. Next up, we have tip number two, which will easily get your team that early game advantage literally the second the round starts. This is going to be a lineup to instantly grab you a kill at mid. We're going to need an op and a little bit of luck to perform this correctly. All right, so this lineup works like this. First, line yourself up with the floor right here in this corner. Next, aim your op at this little square area on the wall. You can see how I do the lineup in the clip. And if done correctly, this should perfectly line up anyone that plans on peeking mid window and hopefully take them out with an easy headshot. Using an op is the best way to guarantee a kill here, but really any gun can deal some damage when sprayed into that same exact area. Hopefully, using this trick can get your team in a good position and maybe even tilt the opponents just a little bit. Moving on, let's talk about a long. I'm going to give you two tips in one for this one. First, we're going to talk about defense and how timing of a long works actually in your favor. While on defense, you're able to peak a long much earlier than the attackers can cross. Knowing this information, you can do a lot. For one, you can hold this with really any gun, specifically an op can be good, and you can grab some kills or some info for your teammates. You can also switch this scenario, and when you're on attack, go ahead and smoke this cross, or even pre-fire the player holding it. All right, now our second A long tip is going to be a jet specific one that's pretty sneaky. While on attack, go ahead and jump up here and pop your ultimate. Next, use your updraft and hold spacebar. You should float down and be able to quickly peek a long without the defender knowing you're there. Now you can use your ultimate to pick off any player that decides to defend a long at the start of this round. Bam! Free kills, good defense tricks, and attack tricks all packed in to one single tip. That right there is the skill capped difference. Now let's head into tip number four. Let's think about how to effectively defend C long. Many times one player is assigned to hold all of C long. This is an essential choke point during many rounds, so knowing how to hold it correctly is very, very important. We're going to assume our team has garage control during this entire time and play to hold off a C long push. The first thing you want to notice is your positioning. Are you in an area that you can rotate out of? Are you in an area that allows you to peek the enemies? And most importantly, are you able to get more than just one kill from the position you are in? These are all things that you should be consciously thinking about while playing on C site. For instance, one of the best ways to hold this area is simply by changing your position. You can go from holding C long to on top of a box to even holding a different angle. 
Doing this and keeping yourself in spots that allow you to re-peak and reposition is crucial to effectively holding Seasight. That's all we have for Seasight, but I want to talk about Garage a little bit now, especially how to correctly attack and pressure it. For starters, breaking the metal doors early is almost always a great idea. These metal doors make this wall impenetrable until broken, which gives the defense a sense of safety. Breaking these doors will put the defense on their toes and will let you line up this wall bang to hopefully get a kill on the garage window player. I found the easiest and safest way to line this up is simply by pinging the position on your map and then spraying towards them from there. This can lead to a free garage kill, which is huge when trying to take C site. Always stay on your A game when in this position though, because it is so easy for an aggressive player to push through mid and catch you off guard. And speaking of aggressive defenders pushing through, how about we talk about how useful this strategy is? You will often see players on defense push through their bomb site all the way to the attacker's spawn and then flank them from there. This strategy is stupidly strong on Haven for a couple of reasons. First off, statistically, the defender has an advantage. There's a 33% chance the attackers go to that site, which means there's a 66% chance that that area is mostly clear. Next, because Haven has three bomb sites, it is very easy for players to focus in on the area they're going and forget about all of the other different angles and possibilities. And finally, it is so unexpected to find a defender in your spawn, especially early in the round. If players don't expect it, they won't be ready. Moving on from the topic of flanking, how about we go over something that players either absolutely hate or absolutely love. You might have guessed it, we're going to talk about the op meta. I hate to say it, but using an operator on the map Haven is absurdly strong, specifically on defense. If we take a look at each site, we can easily find the advantage to this. Starting on A site, you can hold the A long cross with an op before the enemy even has a chance to get here. Next on B site, you have multiple areas that you can stand to hold this one window angle. It is obviously easier to hold this one angle than it is to peek it. And finally, C long. I don't even know if I need to explain this one. It is one single angle that you have to hold and you have so many different areas that you can hold it from. Basically, what I'm saying is if you can learn to use the operator, it can be scarily effective on defense side haven. Let's switch topics and move on to tip number eight. This one is going to be all focused on A site heaven. Have you ever needed to get up to A-Site Heaven quickly, but you don't want to give up your position by making noise? Well, it looks like you're in luck because there is a super quiet and super fast way to get up this ramp. It is called Silent Bee Hopping or Bunny Hopping. To perform this, all you have to do is hold shift while you bunny hop up this ramp. This will allow you to keep your speed, but will also keep you nice and quiet. If you need to learn how to bunny hop, go ahead and check out our full guide on bunny hopping so that you can learn all of the best tips and tricks. Number nine, use elevation to surprise your enemy and get free kills. What I mean by this is use any upward movement abilities that you have to get yourself in unexpected positions. One of the best examples of this is Jet on A site. Jet can updraft on top of any of these boxes and surprise the attackers as they try to push in. There are a ton of areas on Haven where this works, including B site box, three boxes on C site, and even in garage. And this tip is not exclusive to Jet either. Even agents like Rays and Sage can use their abilities to boost themselves in these great spots. Make sure to stay unpredictable with this one because the enemies will start to notice you in these areas and they'll be paying extra close attention to them. And speaking of predictability, how can you become one of those players that can predict where the enemy is going to be? Well, honestly, the best way to learn how people are going to play is simply by playing and watching Valorant a lot. As you learn where people commonly play, you can start to pre-fire common angles. For instance, pretty commonly you will see a defender sneak into this corner on C site. Well, get into the habit of while you push onto site, just pre-fire this. If the player is there, you grab a great kill that not only helps your team, but also looks sick. And if the area is clear, you lost a couple of bullets. No big deal. Pre-firing these common angles is what can separate a good player from a great one. 
and sometimes the best kills can come from situations where you haven't even seen the other player. So that is all 10 of our tips, but before I go, I want to give you one more bonus tip. While playing, especially on Haven, be sure to stay alert at all times. Make sure you know what's going on and communicate it with your teammate. On a map with three bomb sites, it is especially important to use those communication tools to help guide your team to victory. And remember, if you want to improve, win more gunfights, and get the rank you've always wanted, then check out skillcaps.com, link in the description below. All right, that is going to wrap up today's skill capped guide. We went over 10 of the craziest tips on the map Haven, and even explained how you all can win yourself more of those games. If you learned anything from this video, then consider dropping a like, and while you're down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well, so that you can keep up with the best Valorant guides on YouTube. I hope you did enjoy this skill capped guide, and good luck, good half, and good game.